It is 610. This is First Responder Friday. We're going to make sure that airway is open. Where will the next generation of emergency medical techs come from? 11, 12, 13. One place is here at the Spartanburg EMS Academy. We have progressed in the treatments and the medications and interventions that we can provide for these patients um, so that we can have more of the life-saving skills right there as soon as we get there and we're not having to wait the 15 or 20 minute transport time to get to the hospital. Tiffany Ledbetter has 16 years experience as an EMT and paramedic. Two years ago, she became the Academy's training coordinator. People are hired and are paid as they go through a seven-week course. In 12 weeks, they can be certified EMTs in Spartanburg County. When they come in the door, we hit the ground running that very first day, and they are here Monday through Friday, eight hours a day, and um, we are covering a lot of material. Yes, sir, they kind of feed you to the wolves around here. You get your feet in the fire, uh, but it's a good thing if that's what you, you know, if that's what you're looking to do. Boyd Shipman was a machinist for 20 years, but made the move to EMT training inspired by his other job, being a volunteer firefighter. Firefighter is my number one calling. I, I love it. It's what I like to do. I'm a hose dragger for life, but I think I found like a second career where I can work at my fire department and I can work with the EMS. So I kind of like that. They, they kind of go hand in hand. If you like helping people, this is kind of where you want to be. The first class put 26 EMTs on duty in Spartanburg County in January 2022. Another 18 joined them this past January. We're going to work on these rescue breathing, so whoever is going to take airway. And this class is on track to produce another 26 by early May. And Malik Burton and Jay Barton are here. They're from Benson Hyundai with a presentation. We like to show a small token of our appreciation on behalf of the Benson family with our give. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you. And that is First Responder Friday.